hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today guys i'll be showing you how to make akara my delicacy like a delicacy from my country our native delicacy from nigeria all the way from nigeria i'll be showing you how to make it even here you can use the ingredients you can find here in the philippines to make it i don't know guys if you can remember these beans yeah you can go check it in my previous video the one i showed how to make moi moi from mongol beans i might link i will link the video in my description box so guys you can go check it out how i was able to arrive at this stage so that day i wasn't able to use all the beans because it was much so i reserved it for today for this recipe so i'll be showing you guys how to make akara akara yes uh, we call it um i'm correct we call it bean cake in english so i'll be showing how to make it step by step procedures so i'll be using this quantity of beans for it this is what i've got left then i'll be using salt salt to taste then i'm going to be using some chilies and onions i will show you how to and where to use it then i'll be using oil this oil will be for frying vegetable oil you can use any vegetable oil bland vegetable oil you have so guys today's recipe is quite simple yeah we don't need a lot of um, ingredients for this it's a very simple recipe so i would encourage you to try it even if you're a filipina or a filipino give this a try and drop your feedback for me in the comment section or you can as well tag me on social media on instagram snap the picture of what you did let me see how far you were able to grab my coaching so guys and trust me you're going to like this so without talking too much let's get cooking so guys i've already prepped the onions i've washed them and i've cut it into small chunks then for the beans i've already loaded it in the blender cup ready to blend so if you notice i've not i didn't add the onions and the pepper yet i'll add it later on but i'll have to blend this first because there's a texture i want to get with this onions i don't want to blend this completely follow me guys you get to understand what i'm saying so guys here i added a little water to enable my blender to enable my blender to blend it completely yeah So at this point guys, I'll be adding the pepper and the onions. So guys, in this last one, I have to add salt. This is to help me to mix it thoroughly because back home we use what we call mortar to mix everything together after blending but we don't have or I would say I don't have mortar over here so I will be adding it at this stage so that the blender can help me to mix the salt even. This is the last batch, last batch guys. Yes. Come closer if you can see. This is what I was aiming to get. Yeah, this those red eye pepper like the it was forced not really really blended like this is what I was aiming at that was why I said I will be adding it at the end of the blending so now we move over to the frying so guys this is what we got this is the way it should look like Thank you. 
yeah so we are done with the preparations we'll be entering the last phase now which is to fry oh my god i'm so excited i want you guys to try this you will sure like it But one thing about this recipe guys is that you need a lot of oil to fry it. Yeah, because it, it comes out well with deep frying, not with shallow frying because actually it's not a pancake. It's not a pancake. It's, I don't know how to explain this guys, but it is a k a r a a r a a k a r a I hope you guys will give this a try. You will really enjoy it. So guys, I'm waiting for the oil to be hot. The oil should be hot and not cold before you start adding the, the mixture to the oil. In order to get best result anyway. When the oil is hot, there are three ways you can actually know if the oil is hot. Number one is if you have a cooking thermometer, you need to check the temperature of your oil if it is hot to what you would use. Number two is you use um, a chopstick, dip it inside the oil if it gives off a bubble at the base of the stick that is dipped in the oil then you know that it is hot. Then lastly number three is this one I want to do guys. You scoop small of what you want to fry and put it. So you see this this oil is hot already. It is Hot. So let's start frying. So at this point, I'll have to lower the heat so that the inside can as well cook. You, you, you lower your heat, put it at the low, low section. So this one better to be a good one, but the rest are fine. And guys, you have to be turning this every second, like 30 seconds, say 30 seconds, so that it will evenly cook, just like normal deep frying, so that every side will possibly cook. That is why I'm turning it.
sponge guys this is done